Hello and welcome back everybody to Split Heart. So I just had a very tiresome fight against a turtle. Not in real life though, but in Far Away Story. And after that I was a bit grumpy, but I thought to myself, you know, what better thing to cheer yourself up is there than playing an everlasting summer mod. So that's what I am gonna do. By the way, if you want to see that episode, it'll probably come out in a few days, since I have pre-recorded quite some shit for Far Away Story. So if you want to see Turtle Frustration, I don't know, uh, you have weird likenings like seeing people fight against turtles, then check that out in a few days. We stood up and we walked to the canteen slowly. I had a vision for a moment that I would experience some things, which I hadn't known before. I didn't think that new things were bad, but not too many people talked about that life was a wonderful state. Did I read that sentence already? Maybe I did, I don't really remember right now. Um, okay. Ah, pushed the wrong button, my bad. Soon Electronic and Shurik gained on us, but I didn't want to talk with them. I didn't have anything in my hat. The canteen was almost empty, but soon every seat had their owners. Electronic and Shurik choose, chose a corner for, for them, not from them, for them. They were deep in their plans, and they didn't need a new guy to disturb them during a discussion. Slavia joined Lena, which was expected after the dialogue at the library. Well, okay, if you say so. I didn't know where to sit down, but Miko had just arrived and she noticed me. Hello, Semyon, are you alone? I was confused what to say, but she was quicker. Wait a minute, did we meet her in this mod? She wasn't at the music club? Did I forget that we met her? No, wait, wait, wait a minute. Am I stupid? Am I being stupid again? <laughs> she grabbed my hand and we took our meals. I didn't have a thought about what she had planned for me. She was the third in a row who was kind to me. I didn't know if some people were kind there or I looked like a sucker. Yeah, maybe you look like, I don't know, a stray puppy. People have to take care of, I don't know. While I was thinking, we took seats. Are you busy for this evening? The first invitation on the first day here, and after a long time in general. This doesn't make any sense. Why is this happening with me? She barely loathes me with after the first meet. My dark face made her confused. No, well, that doesn't really like cook, look like confused, more like concerned. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe a bit of both. Like she had said something wrong. I didn't want to make her scared, so I had to act quickly. Well, I don't have a plan for the rest of this day. And it seems Olga hasn't given me something to do yet. What a bad luck it was. Olga appeared in the door and she saw me immediately. She came to us to get the paper of the signatures. I gave it to her. Then she took her meal. As it seems, she hasn't planned anything for me. So it means I'm free. Great. She was more happy than I was. Which gave me a suspicion. I was afraid of her. Although I hadn't known her. I'm, I'm sure we didn't. She was, uh, no, wait. Oh no, now I remember. Yes, she was there. The panty shot. Oh, how could I forget? Ah, I'm so stupid. Right, and then we, uh, and then Slavia was gone for a moment and we made music or something like that. Ah, how could I forget this? After we finished the meet, she whispered me something to me. Let's meet on the beach in 15 minutes. Okay, do we? I have a suspicion we get the uh, Miku route. Um, uh, Miku laying on Simeon's lap picture for some reason. Wouldn't that be a bit early? I'm, I'm already jumping to conclusions again. Why did she whisper that? Is it a secret or a forbidden activity? I wasn't able to make the choice. Well, you are your master of your fate. Oh, he, uh, he doesn't know why. Okay, I get it. Yes, sometimes, I gotta say, in the beginning the English was better with the mod. It seems like the longer the author wrote, the, the less he cared for correct English. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm happy there is a mod in general, but you know, sometimes, sometimes it's, it's just tough to understand. After I left the canteen, I ran to the camp leader's house. Oh, okay, clicking through the pictures to the camp leader's house. 
I remembered the chest where my pioneer uniform had been in. I opened it in the false hope to find something useful for this occasion. To my surprise, I found a pair of swimming, tr swimming trunks. I took it with me while I was watching not to be noticed. So you are surprised even though you're no even though you're directly walking to the chest and taking it out? That seems rather unlikely. But okay. I left the building and I tried to move in the dark. I reached the beach and a few minutes later she was there too. Do you fancy about swimming? I'd like to do. Isn't it too late to do? Are you kidding me? Look around, it's the best time to do it. She grabbed my hand again, and we went into the pond without asking me, me if I could swim. Fortunately, I learned it during the school years. We spent almost half an hour in it, and it was good. I needed some time to rest, so I laid on the beach. Soon, Miku did the same. That was fun. Did you like it? Uh, yes, obviously. We watched the stars, but the silent wa silence wasn't awkward. Minutes without words, just hearing each other's breathing. The water waved slowly. After a few minutes, I sat up to look around and to watch the scenery. Ah, told you! Ha ha ha! I'm the master of seeing the future. Or I just see obvious stuff coming. Either or. Unexpectedly, oh yeah, very unexpectedly, Miko took her head onto my lap. I wasn't able to refuse it. Let's talk about yourself. Where are you from? By the way, she's a bit... Whoops, my bad. What, uh, what always confused me about this picture is look at how thin she is. Like, wow. Like, you should eat something, girl, thin. <laughs> I mean, being a voc vocaloid and all probably means you have to fulfill some kind of aesthetic picture that people have from you. But girl, eat something. Anything. At all. Please. Unexpected. Oh, wait a minute. Again, wrong button. Jesus. You know, while Miku should eat something, I should buy myself a brain. If that is possible. Probably not. I wasn't prepared to talk about my life, but it would, be, would have been a shame not to do it. Maybe she would left, have left your lap then. <laughs> I hesitated, so Miku started it first. Well, believe it or not, but I wasn't popular during my childhood and in the school. Really? But why? I was the strange girl, although I was talkative and friendly. I didn't look, look, look like or act strangely, but my classmates didn't go close to me. I never understood why. Without many friends, I turned off the, to the world of music, and I had time to learn play music on an instrument. This world gave me the key to forget the real world and its problems. Wow. I read so many stuff wrong. <laughs> Maybe, Miku, if you would have talked slower, then maybe someone would have talked to you. In this camp I have found many nice people, but I still feel that I'm lonely. Maybe this is the burden of my past, so I won't be happy in the future. Oh, Jesus. That's some deep shit. And probably untrue, though. She must be lonely, if she dares to talk about her personal things before general ones or the ones she's interested in. She must be, if she dares to talk about before general ones or the ones she's interested in. And no, actually, I, I personally had the experience that usually it's rather the ones that talk too much that start to talk about their personal business earlier than the ones who are lonely. Because the ones who are lonely, they are, I don't know, usually more introverted and don't talk, talk about everything, what they, what they want to say, you know what I mean? Like they don't start to talk about private things right away. But, but that's only my experience. I've opened a jar unintentionally, and I don't see now that that how and I don't see now how it will end. It's too much for the first occasion. I have to be careful with her. It's not advised to get deeper if I'm not prepared for that. Miku expected something from me, but I was silent. I understood what she, what she had said, but I didn't know how to react. Are you stupid, Simeon? You can at least say what a shame. That's that's too bad or something. She recognized the thinking on my face, which made her sad a bit. I'm sorry if I was too intrusive. Uh, no, no, no. It's okay. I tried to smile and to look her in the eyes, to calm her down. Yeah, upside down, that's a little awkward. To be honest, I had a great childhood in the beginning. I had many friends, but my parents decided to move, and soon the communication link was broken. 
I couldn't get friends at the new place, and I'm lonely since then. Her eyes showed her sadness hearing my monologue, but she also smiled in the name of hope. We had some similarities, and this was enough to get closer to each other's heart. It probably helps that her head lies on my penis. But I'm glad that you have done the first step before me. I've become very introverted, cowardly and shy to do it. And I still have my own fights inside to get And I still have my own fights inside to get them through. Okay. Uh oh, it doesn't look like you have some, but I think that I'm wrong. Good to hear that you would like to change. To be frank, I had attempts only to make my life better. But though they were so weak and unmotivated, so they always failed. I stood up, and I forced her to do the same. After that, I hugged her so tight, and neither of us wanted to stop it. It hadn't happened with me so many times that I'd been able to trust someone before knowing it well. Her, in that case, I guess. <laughs> then she asked me, Will you be my friend? I mean... Okay, I won't say what I just thought. I'm, I'm, I'm probably more perverted than whoever wrote this mod. Gladly. Do you promise? I promise. We crossed our little fingers, and we shook it as an agreement. Then she became a bit worried. I don't know how to ask it. I don't want to look so, like so aggressive. You're not. Just release it from the bottom of your heart. Those words made her encouraged. If you didn't mind, I would invite you to learn to play. What do you think? Oh, music. I was already thinking this, that was suggestive now, but uh, we're talking about music. It would be a pleasure. That was what she wanted to hear. Maybe it's an exaggeration, but she could have been fly, fly away in her happiness. We reached the square, then both of us took the way to the cabins. The goodbye was fast, but we turned our heads many times to search for each other's looks before we lost each other. Okay, you know what, from now on, I just don't say, I just read out stuff. Usually it's it's clear what's going on from the context. Usually. And if it's not clear, I'll say something, but, you know, I'll just go over all the English. You know, <laughs> you know what I mean? When I entered, the camp leader was reading a book. She heard the opening of the door. Simeon, where were you? It's late. Why are you wearing a dress, Olga? I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have had to say what I had done. I'm sorry, I had some things to do. They're not that important to talk about. All of them are done, and that's the point for me. Okay, but don't try to come late again. Uh, yes, miss. Oh, I guess that was her nightgown then. In the creator's mind, I guess. I went to sleep slowly. When I was in, I remembered what had happened with me that day. A new place, new people, a new chance to live. But something was in my head. Why is everyone so kind? Why does it seem that it's a perfect place and a good community? It's too suspicious. A piece of the puzzle is missing. They're hiding something from me, and I have to find it. That is true. That is a very intelligent idea. That was a very amusing day, but I didn't forget about my plan. I yawned a big, then I fell into sleep. <laughs> I yawned a big. Okay, hello. Ah, I see. You know, uh, sometimes it takes a while for the game to go on. That is usually because you have like to tap two times. That's a bit strange. Strange made, but you know. If you know it, but I usually forget it. <laughs> the first day was so wonderful. I still couldn't believe that those things had happened with me. They had been so kind with me, although I had come from nowhere. And they hadn't known me. It would have been too good to believe it. Suddenly, a strange guy appeared in the dream. So... Did you enjoy it? Totally. Yes. The stranger laughed, and I felt the arrogance in his voice. What a fool you are. Did you believe what they said? Who are you? And what do you know about me? I know everything about you. I know that how pathetic you and your life are. E enough! Stop the insulting! Why would I do that? Does the truth hurt you? The stranger made an evil smile. Tell me. Why are, you, uh, why are you here, and what do you want? If you want... He took a rest for a second. You think that it would be too good to be true. It is. The people. 
who you know around you are illusions. They wear masks, one by one. You don't know who they really are. But first of all, I am make Lu safe. So, I mean, I personally in this situation would do neither of those two options. I wouldn't panic and I wouldn't fight his opinion, you know. Or maybe fight even means like fight him personally, I don't know, but I guess it's about the opinion, like a fight in words, not with fists. <laughs> but, um, I I just try to get as much information out of him as I could and just, you know, be neutral, as neutral as possible, because we don't know what's going on. We'll see it. It was the first day only, and I'm pleased with everything. Ha! Ah. You think you can beat me and the facts? I didn't say anything about that. But I don't say either that I will fall. I know a lot of people already. And almost all of them were nice. Why would I believe your malicious words? You're hopeless. You become melted if someone shows something positive in front of you. To remind you. It's not hell. And I don't see anarchy. Not everyone acts violent. The stranger couldn't answer. So I took the control of the dream. Are you afraid of me? One day I will defeat you, and you can't avoid your destiny. What? What is going on now? That makes no sense. Do we know him? Does Simeon know him? I don't know. You mean nothing to me. You can't scare me. And why are you still here? You have failed in fulfillment, as I see. This wasn't the last time you saw me. I will return. Ah, that was strange. So is he like already on a second or third or a thousand run? This Simeon here? Or why does he know uh, that he kind of failed and that he's scared of him? I don't know. Or maybe it just makes no sense. The stranger went away in anger. And I was proud because I had beaten him. I hope that he wouldn't return soon. Oh yeah, double, double clicking. My bad. I saw the light again. But that time noon had and no one came to me. I heard noises, but nothing was around me. Then I woke up. I realized that I had heard the tweeting of the birds. I turned around in bed, but the camp leader was away. There was a toothbrush, some tooth powder, a towel, and a note on the table. This is yours. Get prepared and come to the square at nine. Best wishes, Olga. She's always on duty, but it's kind from her to give me these. I took all of them, and I walked to the washstands. Okay, and the walking, I mean, it's first a nice idea, but always to click through the pictures, I don't know. The water was so cold that it could have been, could have woken up a polar bear. Maybe it was an exaggeration, but it didn't change the fa it didn't change the fact about the temperature of the water. I washed my face and my hands, then I brushed my teeth. As I had heard it once, new day, new possibilities. And I would have liked to think that it was true. New days, new possibilities. Okay, that isn't a German saying. Maybe the creator isn't German. <laughs> Soon Electronic and Cherry came to the stands to do the same, but they looked tired. Hello, boys. You look awful. What happened? Cherry walked forth as a zombie, but Electronic had the power to answer. Aye, Simeon. Do not ask it. We have worked on the robot all night long, and we have lost the sense of time. We have gone to bed lately, and we haven't had time to sleep enough. I didn't want to disturb them more, so I didn't force them to continue the conversation. I walked away, but I looked back to see them again. I feel sorry for them. I still had the time I still had time before the assignment. My plan was going to My plan was going to go to the bathhouse and watching the waves of the pond to waste the time. I didn't have a music player or something similar portable device to hide hide away and to listen to some music. The first day was good, but I still had the shell. I had the need to be alone for a short amount of time. I had the shell. As I saw, no one else was there. I thought that everyone else was busy with the preparation. My bare feet almost touched the surface of the water. Watching the sun and the light blue sky made me happier after that horrible dream. I didn't know what to do that day, except what I had promised to Miku. Oh yeah, music, right, my bad. <laughs> After some peacefully silent minutes, I heard the cracking of the dock. No one knows that I'm here. 
After that, somebody sat on the dock far from me. I turned my head, and Lena was there. She looked at the waves, and there was sadness on her face. I thought it would have been better not to interrupt that moment, but her sadness forced me to do the opposite. No, we talked to her. Of course we talked to her, because we're good people. Move. I liked my idea, but I wasn't sure what to say to her. I moved closer and closer to her in the sitting position. She didn't see me until I was near her. This shocked her a bit. Why are you scared? It's just me, Semyon. We have met yesterday. Don't you remember it? I know. I'm just not prepared to talk. You don't have to, if you don't want. Lena understood what I said, then she watched the waves again. A few minutes later, she started to speak. Why did you come next to me? Because that you're not in the good mood. Did something happen with you? No, nothing. It's just a nonsense. I'll be better. Lena tried to smile, but soon she felt, fell into sadness again. Do you often come here? Yes, I spend every morning here. It makes me calm. A few minutes were spent in silence. Then I stood up and left her alone. It was a good choice. She could have been with her thoughts. It was also true that I hadn't regretted what I had done. I didn't see how that would continue, but I hoped for the best. I was at the square in time. Genda and most of the peonies were there. <laughs> I mean, where should Genda have gone? We had to wait for a few minutes until the arrival of the missing people and the camp leader. Olga checked if everybody was there, then she made an announcement. Today is the sports day. I'd like to see everyone do something physical. So the library and the clubhouses are closed for the rest of the day, and no one can enter into the cabins without my permission. You have 15 minutes to get the right clothes. This meant that I wouldn't start the learning with Miku. The librarian's girl face turned into rat, and Shurik and Electronic were disappointed. Ulyana was happy as always, and Slavia was also. Lena was a bit confused in the beginning, but she found out something. Miku planned that she would swim again. I was the only one who didn't know what to say or what to do. I was the only didn't only wa I was the only one who didn't know what to say what to Hey wait a minute. Am I stupid? Oh no, it's two times the same sentence. My bad. Uh, not my bad. The creator's bad, actually. <laughs> then the assignment was finished. The horns signed the breakfast time. The whole camp moved like one big herd. There was a long line for the meals. When I took mine I looked for a seat. Unfortunately, I got a partner soon. The little red devil. Are you still mad? She was happy like nothing had happened the day before. No, but why did you sit down near me? Are you nervous? Don't worry, I won't eat you. I would be too much for you. And do you think so? You're not scary for me. I could say the same about you. We made a verbal fight, but a new girl came to us which stopped this. Ah, yes, right, we haven't met Elisa yet. Totally forgot about this. I see you're doing the same thing as always. Let's meet with Daddy. Uh, have I forgotten about the Daddy thing? Did she do that with in the Slavia situation? I probably forgot. This Daddy joke was boring for the second time. I have a name, you little imp. Well, you didn't say it. Because you didn't ask it, and you were so rude at the first time. Okay, let's restart this again. Ah, uh, I see you're not so familiar to me. What's your name? Mine is Simeon. Hello, Simeon. I'm Elisa. The new girl checked me extensively. She winked at me, but I decided that I wouldn't want to do anything with her. I saw something in her eyes. Power, domination, and bad. I tried to focus on my meal quickly, but Eliana didn't let it without a word. Are you already in love with Elisa? <laughs> Obviously not. I don't know anything about her. And you're making a non-existing relationship. Grow up. Alisa didn't say anything about it, but I could read her thought from her face. The two devils were around me, so I tried to finish my meal as soon as possible. Near the exit of the canteen, the two friends were talking. Then they saw me, and they involved me into the conversation. Ah, these two friends. I didn't even know who you were talking about. Do you have any idea for the rest of the day? I don't think so. Do you have any? We don't have either. Well, the only activity which fits for us is the hiking. Do you want to come with us? I don't know yet. 
If you change your mind, come to the path within half an hour. If you won't be there in time, we won't wait for you. Okay. The two boys went away, and I still had to think how to spend the rest of the day. Then the girls came out, one by one. And you just wait for them at the end. Oh, so I can decide what to do. Everybody tells me now what they are going to do, and then I have to decide. Cool. Hello, Simeon. Would you like to join me? I have to broom the square, and I would finish it quicker with a helping hand. Let me think. You'll see if I make the choice. <laughs> who would say that? Wait, let me first see if someone comes out who has something more interesting to do than you, Slavia. Do you do this with friends? If you do this, Simeon, then no wonder you have none. <laughs> I know, this is, this is because of the game mechanics. The creator wants me to decide, and that's cool and all. It's just a little awkward this way. I'm going to fall into the arms of the ca calling water. It's wonderful to be unarmed by the waves. Or do you prefer boating? You will choose if you come. Uh, okay. I don't know why she wants to be with me. Is she a maniac or something? It's like when your stomach hurts after a big pile of sweet. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, if you say so. Biko saw me thinking, so she struck on me. You're my best friend, and I want to be with you. But if you think that's frustrating, then tell it to me. She became a bit depressed when her last words left her mouth. Oh, please don't think so. It's not a problem. You're always welcome. I didn't want to hurt her soul, but I was afraid of her a bit. Why? This makes no sense. My mind whispered to me that I would have to handle this problem later. Hey, precious. Are you ready to be beaten on football? I'm getting bored of your used names. Everyone has to move into something. You could prove that's, that you're not that old. How do you call me old? I'm young enough not to be not called like that. But you look like a lonely, depressed and tired person. Like a grandpa. I'm not that active, I admit that. But I have better things to do, so please go away. Ah, uh, the face. The face! Favorite face. She shrugged, then she went away. It was easier than I had thought. Ah, Jinya. The librarian went without saying anything to anyone. Her head was still red. <laughs> I see. Hey, rookie. If you want to leave, leave these averages and you like to do something interesting, you would find me in my cabin. That would be a smaller suicide if I ruined everything on the second day. She acted like she was dominant, and while she was going away, she was moving her butt like a hooker. I had never understood the logical way of this behavior, and it was pathetic rather than exciting. To be honest, I don't think really like Alisa is like that. I mean, okay, maybe it's it's a trap like in the main game. But to be honest, I don't see Alisa behaving like that. This is actually, I think the creator got the characters right for the most part. Like Ulyana's pretty good, Slavia's pretty good. Mik okay, Miko is maybe... The, the lone, okay, I mean, that's creative freedom, you know, that he made her a, a bit like a loner, but that's okay, I think. Um, Olga was good. Lena is a bit more, it seems a bit more, I don't know. Although in the beginning of the game, she also seemed just quiet and stuff. But Alisa, Alisa wasn't like a hooker. I mean, she was like forcing and stuff and dominant and all that, but not like... Uh, she tried, uh, she brutally tried the hard way to seduce Simeon. But as mentioned, maybe it's just a trap. I don't know. Lena was the last of the line. She took a few steps ahead, but those ones are so unsure, like she was unconscious. She took a small turn, like she would have liked to say something to me. But she changed her mind soon, and she turned back. I felt that I should ask, ask what was going on in her head. Lena, would you like to say something to me? No, I'm just thinking. I went to her, I turned her to me, and I looked at her. I saw in her eyes that she had been lost, and she didn't know how to act. It seems you would like to ask, say or ask something. Be honest, I don't harm you. I... I was wondering if someone else is interested in badminton. Uh, don't worry about me. I'll see it if someone else is there. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. She was frozen for a few moments, then she ran away from me like she said something fatal. Did I say or do something wrong? It seemed that it was too early to encourage her. I felt that she needed help, although I knew that this wouldn't be simple. The canteen was empty. The indecision was in me. What has happened with you? When you were younger, you didn't think twice when you got an invitation to do something. True that. Why didn't you go with Slavia right away? 
Now I have a bad feeling for Lena, and I kind of feel like going to her. It's scary or not. What? But I had the habit to argue with myself. Okay, I don't really. Okay. The strangers for you, but you have to start this somehow. So I had to choose an activity. Okay, and next episode, you'll see what activity that is. Oh, I'm so cruel. Ah, uh, then it's really not an easy decision. Like, uh, in real life, by the way, where is Lena even? Like, I can't even go play badminton with her. You see that? Is that a bug in the game or something? Or did I do something wrong on the Lena path? I don't know. We'll see. But, uh, well, now that I can't go to Lena, it is probably easier to decide uh, to go to Slavia. So yay me! So, <laughs> no cliffhanger for the next episode. Thank you everybody for watching. Come back for the next part. And I'll see you then. Bye bye!